XP Pen reached out to me, sent me their new XP Pen Artist 22 second generation pen display to review it for you guys. This is like a dream come true. As you see in the title, I'm going to shed lights on this beautiful big Ooh. ass pen display on the package, how to plug it in your computer, and then how is my drawing experience using this pen display. So yeah, stick around! To begin with, I'd like to confirm that I'm not paid to say these things. It's all gonna be my honest opinions and my experiences as a digital artist who's been in digital art for almost 7 years now. So the XP Pen Artist 22 second generation comes with a strikingly large 21.5 inch display. It features 1080p resolution and it delivers more vibrant and realistic images and videos. It has no key expressions sadly, um, I'm really used to them more than the keyboard actually, but for the accessories and cables included, we have the manual, warranty info, a thank you card, and we have an artist glove, a cleaning cloth, and for the cables, we have power cables of UK and Europe, we have the adapters, USB A to C, C to C, HDMI to another HDMI, plastic flap, and the pen case. So the pen case that has 8 replacement nibs in it and of course the actual pen in it which is a PA6 battery free pen meaning you don't have to worry if the battery is dead. You just draw and you replace the nibs by time. This cylinder pen case is literally amazing. I can't just stare at it. <laughs> but yeah that's not our tea for now. We just want to know if it's good for drawing or not. But at the same time it's solid well built design keeps the pen and the replacement snips extremely safe the pen itself is very light but solid at the same time if that makes sense but if you are not into thin pens you can maybe use a bandage or anything to make it thicker and you're ready to go with it however it has that huge rubber grip so for me i worry nothing i'm fine with thin pens like it the pen also supports still sensitivity up to 8.1 192 levels of pressure sensitivity and that's already pretty cool i've tried it on krita and that's working pretty fine for me you remove the nibs this way i'm not used to this so yeah i'm sorry here i tried again and am i fucking dumb but at least i've discovered this view right here it's amazing i don't know what to do with this but this seems like some setup for a K-pop music video. I love this! I hate how I'm distracted by everything. I spent like 15 minutes shooting this. I even tried to see from the other side of the pen, but yeah, the, the first side is better. See, free inspiration from a pen case. If you are getting distracted by anything like me. Back to the serious review. You can use the cap of the pen as a pen stand. That's more. Now for the display tablet itself, it's pretty big. It looks clean, I really like the matte surface, it's so smooth and satisfying while drawing, it feels natural for your palm, you can move it however you want with no heat or friction. Toto, you can see how beautiful my merch is through the display, make sure to check it out in the info card or the link in the description to get something if you are interested. I'm trying to save up for a microphone and a camera since I'm using my Android phone for everything. The stand is already attached to the pen display, it has rollers on the bottom for an easy adjustment. You need to lift the latch so as to unlock the stand to deploy it at the angle you want. On the back we have a 3.5mm audio jack, HDMI, USB-C and the power port. And you can cover them with that plastic flap I've mentioned earlier. After you plug the adapter and you turn your computer on, you can turn on the pen display from the buttons on the top right side of it, which also have an OSD menu to adjust the brightness, volume, colors, gamma, temperature, etc. Now you're gonna see the XP Pen logo and you're ready to use it. One last step is to download the driver from XP Pen site provided for both Mac and Windows users. And here is the driver. You can adjust the buttons that are on the pen. You can adjust the pressure sensitivity. Use Windows Ink or not. For me, I don't use Windows Ink. After installing the driver, the pressure sensitivity should be already working. 
If not, you can restart your computer or maybe ask for help. The lines are incredible, feels natural, and line transition from thin to thick is smooth. And this is very great if you love working on details on your work without glitches or gaps. Then there is the tilt sensitivity. It might not be the perfect tilt sensitivity in the world, but it's working. It's following the pen, it changes depending on the angle you give to the pen and as long as you are drawing with a normal speed, it should be fine. A slower process might crack the edges when you change the direction of the brush, but that's okay. That was for the overall performance. Now let's test it out and let's make a painting and see if I got any issues with it while working. I've already tested out for like two weeks now, doing sketches, finishing my old art, and now I'm making this. So as the review can be more accurate and not just the first impression. Today I'll be painting Mononoke Hime. I've already did a live stream on my Discord server, so people from there already saw it. If you want to join my server for more live streams and chats about art and stuff, the link is in the description. It's on my Twitch or something. The first step is planning. I sketch and do some shitty stuff on my poor sketchboard that has witnessed many horrible things and I'll be choosing this one since it's simple and I can put more emotions in it than the other ones. It's not that dynamic pose, I wish it was, <laughs> but sometimes you just gotta chill and do simple stuff for a while if they are going to turn out better than the over dynamics action poses. Yeah, I just need to practice dynamic poses more often, but not now. And you know what I do to enhance it? Skillshare! And today I'll be introducing our sponsor of this video once again to you. You might be hearing Skillshare a lot nowadays, but you always question what's that and why people love it. Skillshare is a big online classes platform made for inquisitive and curious people who are eager to learn new things and to enhance their skills. Like what? There are plenty of topics like animation, creative writing, film and video, fine arts, graphic design, music, photography, web development, lifestyle and productivity marketing, freelance, and more. Want to learn 3D modeling? You get it. Want guitar lessons? You get it. Want to be creative? You get it. Want to make logos? You get it. Everything is here. Now since I was talking about dynamic poses and how I practice them more often now, we have this class that I found by Patrick Brown, a digital artist that made a class about characters in motion, capturing motion in illustrating. In this class, we have sketching the body using simple lines and shapes working with nothing more than lines, circles, and few triangles. Patrick quickly sketches out a character to work with using few simple techniques such as contour drawing. You will sketch a character that is well balanced and proportional. Quickly find the focus lines of your character to help you orient them on the page and direct the viewer's eyes. Patrick shows how perspective can be used in a scene constructed to add an extra element of drama. Discover more about it. Share your own work with Patrick for some feedback. Discuss with other people about it. Enhance your skills. And since you are here, I offer you a free trial membership for the first 1000 people to click the link in the description. Hurry up, don't miss it. I promise you, you would love it when you learn and improve yourself. It's a nice feeling. Thank you Skillshare team for sponsoring this video once again and helping people with their self-growth. So the mate drawing surface has a nice texture to draw on, it's very satisfying, consistent, no problem with it. I can draw predictable lines with no accidents or any crazy acts at all. And the pen actually doesn't produce any squeaky sounds. It's all smooth and clean and it's sensitive. You get accurate pressure sensitivity which is pretty cool, especially for details. And what helps with details is the size of the pen display in general. It's 21.5 inches equals 54.6 centimeters, which is about a whole meter um 158 centimeters so three of these pen display would be taller than me what cool about big size is that you feel inside the drawing if that makes sense 
Or am I just small? I don't know. I feel like the pen display is too big. I don't know about y'all, but when drawing, I feel so into the drawing. I feel attached to its universe and fantasy. I don't know if I'm just daydreaming a lot or is it really the display's effects. I don't know. Let's just keep talking about physical pros and cons for now since feelings differ from one person to another. What else? Ah, I already mentioned it, but the pen is smooth and you don't feel like you're scratching the screen. It goes all smooth, make no disturbing sounds. It's just pretty cool. For cons, I guess the only thing I got when I first had the tablet is a screen headache, which of course, cause I'm not wearing any protective glasses and I'm not used to big screens, but I feel like the pixels are big and sometimes there are red dots on a black texture places like what's up but I guess it's only for me or because of the long distance shipping and stuff welcome to Morocco other than that I'm speechless I guess I'll be working on this for my professional work forever it's my first 22 inch display tablet it's pretty affordable for a 22 inch display usually displays that are this size are over $1,200 but this is like $469 which is very cheap for a display. XP Pen is already known for the affordable prices so don't worry about that side. Well I guess that's all for the cons and the pros. Well I guess that's all. I'll let you with the time lapse and stick around for the outro. Well, here is the final results. Want to download it in a high quality? I'll leave the link in the description. And if you want a print of it vertically or horizontally, check it out on my art shop on the description. I'm trying to save up for many stuff, okay? Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.